United States, and the Biden administration pretends that it's not happening, but we have the footage. Take a look at your screen. Of course, these are multiple multiple reports now of military-aged men uh, pouring across the United States border, and it seems like mostly from China. So it's been a great mystery over the past year. Why are they doing this? Why are they arriving? If you're fleeing a war zone, you, of course, show up with your, your children, your women, your wives, right? These are people that you are saving, the families that you are bringing and trying to find a better life for. But no, there's no children. There's no wives. There's no women. It's just men. Well, at least until yesterday, we could speculate. We had some idea why this was happening. But on the floor of the United States Senate, Senator Dick Durbin has now let the cat out of the bag and explains exactly why this is happening. What troubles me about the debate now about the southern border is it is one half of the immigration equation. Yes, we need order at the border. Yes, we need to have changes in the laws that reflect the reality of the overwhelming numbers from all over the world who are coming to our, our shores and our border. But there's also an incredible demand for legal immigration into this country even now. The presiding officer, my colleague from the state of Illinois, has legislation which addresses one aspect of that. Her bill, and I hope I describe it accurately, says that if you're an undocumented person in this country and you can pass the physical and the required test, background test, the like, you can serve in our military, and if you do it honorably, we will make you citizens of the United States. We I need those we do all them millions and big rolls out of slum over here. The Army and the Navy and the Y'all don't even know where half of them at. They can't reach their quotas each month. They can't find enough people to join our military forces. I wonder why. And there are those who are undocumented who want the chance to serve and risk their lives for this country. No, they Can don't. Given the chance, I think we should. Let me tell you about... So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like we have an answer to the great mystery now why this is happening. Someone who's been tracking these military-aged men uh, coming across the border is Anthony Rubin from muckraker.com. He's been doing amazing reporting on this. Interesting. Deep into the Y'all know they had. Tracking this from through South America. They've been teaching them how to break down guns since they was uh, two. Migrants all the way up to the United States border and so much more that we could talk about. Uh, Anthony, welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me on, Clayton. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It's great to have you back. I specifically today, we could talk about so much of your travels and we'll have you back and we can talk more about what you saw in Ecuador and other parts uh, south of the border. But today I specifically wanted to focus on this military age men Chinese story. So you've seen the videos at the border. Of course, you've seen your reporting. You saw Senator Dick Durbin there basically confirming why they're coming across. What did you discover? They come across so they can right. take over. <laughs> y'all been over yeah, y'all eyes, so, mate. As it relates to the Chinese, I mean, as you said, we, we can talk about so much here. This, I mean, this crisis is extremely complex. But as it relates to the Chinese and what I saw, um, the Chinese have basically established dedicated networks along their route all the way to the United States. And so what we discovered along our, our trip from Ecuador all the way to the United States border are dedicated hotels, basically dedicated hubs where these Chinese illegal aliens stop at. And you know it's like known along their route that you will stop at these specific hotels. Uh, one of the ones that we stopped at was this hotel in Pasto, Colombia. And we just stumbled upon it by accident. It happened to be near a, uh, a an airport there. Interesting. And they spreading them out we so they could take over. Y'all better not drop them two ways. Y'all better hold on to them guns, mate. Every single one of them uh, was headed 